All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to set up SCS Blender tools. And then we're going to hopefully try to get a trailer or something imported and do a little editing on it. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up Chrome. We're going to search for Blender 2.79. Then click that. Go down here and click Download Blender 2.79B Old. Click on that and then click this one right here. This is one that I used at least. Just a zip, the 2.79 Bravo dash Windows 64 zip. Go ahead and download that. Now next we're gonna go, we're searching for the SCS modding wiki. Go ahead and click the link there. Go to tools. And then we're gonna download all of these right here. Do the archive extractor. Just click the button there. You can do Blender tools, the latest version 1.12. Then the conversion tools, the latest one. Okay, so we got those, and now we need converter picks. So search for that. Converter picks SCS. We need the GitHub link right here. And hit clone or download and have that downloaded. All right, now that we got everything downloaded, we're going to start with installing Blender. So just open up the zip file here. Now uh, we're going to make a new folder here. I already have one in my SSD here called American Truck Sim. This is just this is where I'm going to place Blender. I'm just going to drag that there, and it's going to extract for us. This might take a little bit depending on how good of a computer you have. All right, Blender's all done. We're just going to go back here. Let's extract our conversion tools. So make a new folder in here. Call that conversion tools. Then select all these. OK, so that's done. Now converter picks, do the same thing. Let that copy over. Now we're going to go back to SCS Extractor, move that in there. And now the Blender tool. So we're going to go in here to Blender, 2.79 scripts, add ons. Do the same thing, Blender tools add on iOSCS tool. So we're just going to drag that into here, into script slash add-ons. So that's in there. So, OK, so we got everything extracted now. In order to set up Blender, so we're just going to open Blender, run it. And so you're going to start out in Blender like this. Um, so the first thing you want to do up here to the top right, there's this little uh, slanted arrows. Just drag it to the left, and that opens a new window here. Go into here, go to User Preferences. Go to Add-ons, and in the search bar here, type in SCS. Go ahead and click the Check button there. And press Save User Settings. And then I like to change my keypads around a little bit, so I go into 3D View. So it's more like 3ds Max, 3D. Let's see. So I'll rotate to be Alt Middle Mouse and Move to be Middle Mouse. So I'll save that. Change this to the UV Image Editor. Just uh, keep it off to the side. Now hit this plus button up here. And that opens up the. I don't even. I don't even know what you call it. Transform sidebar whatever now we're going to set up our camera and our lamp so go ahead and take your lamp here click and drag it onto the camera and it should still be selected now take go up here to our transform select these three press zero enter and then with these you just click one and pull down with your mouse while holding and it selects all of them so you can just set them all to zero now we're going to hit Alt-P. 
and then clear parent inverse. And then we're going to go down here, object data, and change that to sun. Right click on the cube here. Go to your scene data and take the SCS tools and drag them all the way up. You just do it for everything here. There's your lighting, object properties. Well, we don't need to do that one, but materials, we need to do that one too. So those are the ones that you're going to use the most. So we want our view to align with the camera. So just hit zero on your numpad. Zoom in, and then click lock camera to view. So now our camera is set up. Then we're going to change the shading here. We're going to go to GLSL. And we're going to go down here next to object mode. There's this uh, sphere. Change the method to display to material. Now we're going to press Control U and save the startup file. So now every time you open up Blender, it's going to show up like this. All right, so now we're going to open up a new folder here. We're going to do our American Truck Sim folder that we set up. Everything's in here. We're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it um, Base Files. And you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to make another folder, call it 136, because that's uh, the version I have right now. Now we're going to open a new folder again. Or open up Windows Explorer, go to where you installed American Truck Simulator. So I have it on my SSD, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, American Truck Simulator. Now we're going to copy base and base, uh, or def, base and def. Go ahead and copy those to your folder here. Let that copy. It's going to take a little bit. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go back here and copy the SCS extractor. And just to show you what this does, if we grab a, if we try to open this, we can't because it's packed in some weird way. I don't know why WinRAR doesn't work. But this SCS extractor it's going to extract all the files inside here. So these are all our def files. Let me see, it's pretty much almost done. So we got our vehicle, trailer, whatever. So we'll need those later. But for now, we don't really need them, but extract them anyway. Now go ahead and drag your base SCS on there, and that's going to take a while. All right, so if we take a look now, our base.scs is extracted. And so now um, we're going to set up our folders so that we can import into Blender. Let's go ahead. And here we're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it trailers. Make a new folder here. We'll call this files. Now we're going to copy automat and vehicle into here. Make a new folder. We'll call that uh, material. And go back into here in our base files and copy environment. So we got material environment because we don't need all this other stuff in here. But now we're going to take this and run it through um, converter picks. And that's going to convert it to a format that Blender can import. Let's go in here to converter picks, bin x86. Just drag that on there and run it. And this is going to take a while as well. All right, now that that's done, you see this new folder here, rename that to base. Open it up. We're going to go back here in American Truck Sim, our base files. We're going to copy unit into here. And then 
going to copy this file right here into material. This material that uh, DB. If we look under base here, this is everything that's been converted. So we're going to go in here. Let's say we're going to edit the hopper 50 in the body type. Go ahead and edit that. So let's uh, back to trailers here. Make a new folder. We'll just call this brain hopper. Make another folder vehicle. Trailer own. I think it's SCS underscore green hopper. Then body. And so I already have I already have a uh, quick test thing that I can let you guys use. We got our regular texture and our normal map here. We're gonna copy that into there. All right, so we got our textures in here. Now let's open up Blender. Get it on our desktop here. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna delete the cube. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go here into our global settings and our scene. We're gonna set up our base, base path. Got SSO, American Trucks and Trailers base. Select that one. So both of these should already show up anyway because it's under base. So conversion tools, make sure that's right. Let's go there, American Trucks and Conversion Tools. Accept. Make sure your cursor is centered. So what you do, you press Shift S, cursor to center. I go to import SCS formats, American Truck Sim, trailers, base, vehicle, trailer owned, grain hopper, body, hopper 50. So we're going to edit that one. See everything imported just fine. No errors. Go here to SCS tools. Click the box here and that'll just uh, display geometry only. We're going to import our little uh, punch thing. As you can see, it imports a little big. So we're going to press S, scale it down, scale it down some more. Just put it on top there, whatever. Now, we're going to change our base path. We're going to change it to grain hopper. It's, everything should still work because uh, because we named this one base. So it, SAS Blender tool thinks that uh, all the stuff that's in here is also in here because this is named base. So we got that set up. Grain hopper. Now we're going to right click on our punch, go to the materials tab here, shader presets, select a diff spec, and then click add vertex colors to all. And now add our 16-bit uh, normal map. We'll go browse for our texture here. And we're going to go for the normal map texture. There we go. Now set these to the UV map. And it should show up just fine. All right, so now we're going to... Well, we can just move it around a little bit more. Set it up here. We're going to drag this into Hopper 50, or Punch Low. You can see it's under there now. Our materials are good. Um, go down here to our scene properties, scroll down, hit auto clean, no compression. Now we're going to set up our mod folder. Hit this uh, button with the green arrow, click on American Truck Simulator, okay. And that's going to find your uh, mod folder. And if you don't, just uh, 
find it. Usually it's under your documents slash American Truck Simulator slash uh, mod. Now we're going to name the mod. Let's call it Punch. And then we also need our default export path. So we're going to set that up as vehicle, trailer on, crane hopper, body. That's where it's going to put this hopper 50. All right, so we got that. And just hit pack mod. Let it run. No errors. No. Go here, we can go into our mod folder. Update. I already made that one before, but there's our punch.zip. Go through here, automat, everything's in there. Let's see, we got everything in there. Now let's go ahead and test it out. I already tested it, so confirm changes. Yes. Trailer browser. Hopper. Go to the chassis. Select the 50 footer. And lay that. <laughs> Our punch is in there. Full normal map support with DirectX 11. Beautiful. Yep. Okay. The game here. And our zero key. F9. And look at that. It's showing up. <laughs> Beautiful.